Well, I had this uh, idea to bring the whole concept of bees into the publication just with the idea of colony collapse disorder recently, how much we actually rely on bees for our foodstuffs. Insects are like some of the, the best indicators to how our environment is actually changing or how we're changing our environment. Well, our beekeeping operation actually really started as an accident. Originally, we were asked to come and exterminate. Given the situation of pollinators and of bees worldwide, that didn't seem like the most environmentally friendly thing to do. So we found a local partner, um, Rubio, uh, who worked with us on developing this into a real beekeeping operation. Siempre vi este lugar eh, fantástico para hacer un proyecto de, de apicultura por la cantidad de vegetaciones que hay y el respeto a la naturaleza que se, que se encuentra aquí en Punta Cana. Y mis sueños siempre fueron tener, un, un, eh, tener una oportunidad de criar abejas en este lugar. So I've worked in the entomological field for a while, mainly with aquatic insects, but never this close with a bee. So you just kind of blank out your mind and you're just like, okay, I gotta go for this, I'm going for this. By that time, you already have like the bees on you. You know, the clouds started coming in, it was just a blackening sky, and then the rain just started pouring. And it, was, it wasn't just like raindrops, it was like big globules just like coming down cold and just started pelting. And the bees are just dropping off in clumps and, and Rubio is gripping the bees, trying to get them back into their boxes. Uh, and that was it, that was the end, uh, end of that first day shoot. It was, it was pretty epic. Even though we didn't actually finish the shoot, uh, it gave us a really good feeling for how we could actually approach day two. And it gave me some peace of mind about, you know, what do the bees actually feel like when they're on the body. Bueno, las abejas se familiarizan. Hay que darle confianza. Cuando las abejas le dan confianza, ellas le devuelven a uno respeto. Si respeto su señal, su forma de hablar conmigo, ella obedece y me respetan a mí también. Por eso son dóciles conmigo, porque nos respetamos ambos. I just basically blank out everything that I'm thinking and just have a sense of stasis or a sense of calm. I mean, I can't really describe it in any other words than that. You just kind of focus in and just and trust yourself in, in Rubio, essentially. Ella se, se portaron dóciles, suave. Eso me indicaba de que ellos podían eh, resistir el trabajo que íbamos a hacer con ellos. Eh, eso me llenó de satisfacción ver esta muchacha con tanto, tanto valor, eh, recibir todas estas abejas en su cuerpo. Eso es maravilloso. I picked up a bee on my finger, but never before just covered in them. The photo shoot itself was really pretty exhilarating. I think we want to share this experience with other people. The idea that, you know, keeping bees can be part of sort of a more sustainable way of living and hopefully you know that it attracts some attention to some of the stuff we're doing in the foundation. For me I kind of took away you know just a, a sense of sensitivity and intimacy with an insect. It gave me a real sense of self and sense of you know how these you know use social insects actually interact and and how to really read them. I think that this is one of those moments which I'm totally grateful for.